Hi Taurus, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is the week ahead tarot reading for your sign, a general read. Um, all the housekeeping stuff is down below. I'm just going to crack on with the read. So let's see what we've got for Taurus. What have we got for Taurus for this week ahead? Let's see what we got. It feels like a funny week, Taurus. Okay, so you've got, there's an extra card in this deck and it says, let your intuition guide you. You are what you've been looking for. So I don't know if that has some uh, bearing on you. Let's see what else we've got. Hi, the high priestess. Yeah, you are really being called. This is the intuition card, like the, the top intuition card. Um, you're being called to follow your intuition, trust your instincts. Don't be swayed by drama. Don't be swayed by who's shouting the loudest. Go on um, your instincts, your, your gut feeling. Um, if you can't decide between two things, literally flip a coin and see how you feel about the outcome because that I think that will tell you more about it than any overthinking and trying to decide um, based on facts because I think the two things feel quite even but um, if that if that is the case to do with a decision, it's not necessary to do with a decision but something this week requires your intuition to guide you to follow your instincts. I think at some point you're going to go, why do I know that I need to do that? You'll question, you'll be like, I know that I need to know, but I don't know why I know that. Um, you don't need to know, need to know why you need to know that. This is going to get really confusing. It's a bit like that scene on Friends where they don't know that we know that they know. Um, but yeah, this is, you, you kind of know what it is you're supposed to be doing. Um, you are being guided by past experiences, past lessons that you've learned. So, um, you know it on some level. I think something that hasn't worked before is working now because you're in a completely different place to where you are. You're in a much more content and happy space. Um, but yeah, the Six of Swords is also a card of movement. So that could be traveling, whether that's, and with that Nine of Cups, it's something you've been wishing or hoping for. It's some sense of travel, movement. Um, I don't know if this is like literally getting away to do some camping or something with the stars there, but it can equally be moving, moving your whole world somewhere, moving house, moving location, emigrating, um, going abroad. But to me, um, this is really feeling foresty and woody. I would also recommend because of obviously that being in the wood and moving forward, that if you feel a bit, um, up in the cerebral realms like you just feel like you're all full of dizzy energy um go for a walk in nature in the woods in with some trees and some nature um because it's incredibly grounding and incredible kind of, incredibly grounding thing to do to reconnect with the earth um kind of transmutes your energy back into neutral if not positive um more neutral and then you can take it to a positive place with your own with your own influence um but yeah the nine of cups is all about celebrating contentment finding where we're happy but i think i think being in a place of gratitude and positivity and happiness and contentment is kind of what is allowing you um because obviously you've, you've got to this place through all this work this process this possibly meditations that sort of thing that you've been doing um this is now taking you um to um it's, it's removing blockages and allowing you to trust your gut to trust your instinct because obviously if you've been working on issues that have made you doubt your instincts in the past through some form of gaslighting or similar um you're now learning to trust that again and it's so vital that we all learn to follow our intuition our instincts and learn to trust ourselves and our own judgment um I think there's an element of, um, I don't know if somebody's watching you or you're watching somebody else, but that kind of social media studying, it's, it's really what I'm getting. Somebody's studying your social media or, um, I don't know. I don't know what sort of intent they've got with it. I'm just really getting that they are watching you. They are stalking your social media and following you. So I don't think necessarily anything's going to come of that as such. Nothing, I'm not getting anything negative. It's just they're watching your social media for some reason. Um, I don't know if maybe they're watching it because they see that you've had some form of healing journey and they're trying to follow you telling your story is providing um, a healing pathway for somebody else to follow or inspiration for that or there's some you're inspiring somebody i don't think they're necessarily directly going to tell you right now um it doesn't feel malicious it doesn't feel like an ex watching you or anything like that it kind of just feels like um admiration for, for your work that you've done that, that you seem to be following your instincts you seem to be in this good play because of where you've got to because you've done all this 
and they're kind of like I really wish I could be like them or I trust my instincts and I follow my gut and I go against the grain because I know that's the right thing to do your healing is now leading somebody else's healing or or inspiring someone else's healing is kind of what I'm getting uh learning pathways they may uh, um message you to see like what kind of things you've been doing in order to um to, to be on your journey to, to get to where you are what you've done so far I'm kind of really getting that you are inspiring them because I think they've got to a place where they're kind of blocked and they've lost inspiration themselves within themselves of feeling a bit hopeless like well I've tried everything I know how to do so I think they might be contacting you in order to kind of help them out of that blocked space Taurus um there's a lot of twos coming up so there's a lot of weighing up of options making decisions so yeah I'm getting a lot of twos actually there may be a bit of mirroring and I think that's where they've been inspired actually your story kind of mirrors where they are and then they're going well this is they kind of do that so you're kind of inspiring a new path for them moving forward and helping them grow and expand but I think by helping them, if they do contact you and you do help them, I think it's also going to help you expand and realise how far you've come and realise that maybe you are a healer. You are, um, it sounds silly, but I went through a lot of pain in my life and I truly believe it's because, um, don't get me wrong, I'm still working through some of that. I'm not in no way sitting here pretending that I'm healed and whole and I'm far from it. Um, but I went through a lot of my my things so that I can help other people through like my tarot reading in order to help them heal. Because if you can sit in that from a place of empathy, you can truly um, appreciate not to the full extent because we're not directly in their lived experience. But by going through our pain, it's almost like we have to go through it in order to lead others through that same pain, to be the leaders, to to help navigate, to share for people in their pain, most painful days. Um, and it kind of feels like you're being kind of called to do that um this person's going to come off as defensive this person's going to come off as trying to protect pretend they're okay and they're really not that's why they're firing off at you but yeah they're, they're following and contacting you because you've inspired a healing journey within them and i kind of really like that um that energy it's kind of like a recognition yeah throat chakra has come through on the on the oracle cards it it's like um you providing your story your journey of what you've been on that's really what's inspiring others your truth is inspiring other people to follow their truth um and to get to work um to work on them yep there you go the card on the bottom is healer and you've got spiritual suffering underneath so i don't know if this is kind of, and then that yeah conflict someone's in a moment of, of conflict um and spiritual suffering themselves and you're kind of there to um, inspire healing in them whether that is to directly lead them or at least send them on a way that say well I followed this path and then they go and follow that path it kind of feels a bit like that but you are exactly where you're meant to be is what it's saying it may be that this person just ends up messaging you or you get talking to someone and you realize that your two lived experiences are very similar and that you can help each other moving forward but i really feel like you're kind of mentoring this other person you're guiding this other person by sharing your story and sharing your lived experience so that they can see that there is hope in their situation because it mirrors yours um, and that there is an opportunity for them to grow and you to grow too and in in doing so by helping other people we also grow and expand um so yeah anyway i hope that is of some use to you taurus hopefully i will see you again next week and um, bye for now